Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. We're talking about canned spinach, you know, being probably one of those wonderful vegetables that Angie would go for in a second. No. <laughs> what, what, is, what is like the nastiest snack you had as a kid? And I'm going Vienna sausages. Oh, well, you got, you got the thumbs up on that, Emily? All right, Angie? Well, your son likes it. Okay, I understand that. Uh, whatever, if your son eats it, that's good. Uh, as far as the weather goes, uh, this is a fantastic day. I just hope you can get out and enjoy it. Maybe have a picnic outside. Eat some Vienna sausages. Just don't invite me. Uh, we've got ourselves uh, just a wonderful looking afternoon. Not going to be all that blustery. We had the big winds yesterday and Wednesday. It was 35 mile per hour gusts yesterday. We had 50 mile per hour gusts the day before that. So the wind giving us a break today and the sunshine in abundance. Love that. Basking the downtown buildings. Of course, that is from Fifth Third Bank. Right now, it's 63 degrees at the top of the hour. And we've got a wind that's calm. Now, the wind's going to pick up a little bit today, but not a lot. It's going to shift from the northwest to the southwest later today at around 5 to 10. Now, it's going to be a southwest wind tomorrow, too. It is going to pick up tomorrow, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and we're going to be seeing a kick to it. So we should see some gusts at times tomorrow, up around 30 miles an hour, at least 25 to 30. But the good news is it stays dry, and it's going to be right around 80 for a hot. All right, can we do a little temperature run? 61 degrees, and, and we stop cold right there. There's no 62. But the temperature's in the low 60s up to the northeast, but at least it's in the 60s. Yesterday, at this time, it was in the 40s up to the north. Of course, the, the rain and the clouds plaguing that area. Looking better today. 66 in Madisonville. Same goes for Morganfield, Dixon, Fordsville, Greenville, Beaverdam, Princeton. A lot of 66s on the board right there. I want to give a shout-out. I'll stay here. Now, what we're doing today is actually National Purebred Dog Day. And we've got Sheepdog, who is purebred, right? So we know we've got a purebred dog. This is actually from yesterday. This picture was sent to me. But this is actually from Shelter Adopt, Adopt a Shelter Pet Day. And of course, this right here, when I saw this, I thought, you know, it's May. It's time for senior photos. And look at that. It's Gerard the dog. Hey, did you see that? He is dressed in his senior year best. He's got his arm out there like those seniors pose and do. Got that big smile on his face. Sandy Winstead, when I saw that picture, I, I had to show it off, even though it's no longer shelter. Well, you, hey, every day should be a, adopt a shelter pet day. That is wonderful. Thank you for sending that in my way. Storm Tracker is showing a whole lot of nothing. So we've got plenty of sunshine. To the east, you can see a few clouds if you're traveling, but you have to go east of Louisville to see those. And we do have a system up to our northwest that won't be impacting us. We have high pressure building in. Now, this is that system, this low pressure, which is bringing the rain in the Appalachians right now, and not much of it, by the way. Is the same system that slowly trudged through northern Illinois, northern Indiana, at least the center of that low. And of course, it was bringing some clouds and some rain down to us. Finally, it's made it to the Appalachians. It's, it's a slow slog as it works its way toward the Atlantic coast. Well, that's our headache today. Uh, our headache is not here until Sunday. That's when we do see showers and some thunderstorms. Looks like it's going to be later in the day on Sunday. So most of the weekend should be dry. Future tracker, really not much of anything to track. Warm front's going to be moving through later on today. We are going to see a kick up a few clouds late. This could be actually a good thing, though. I mean, today we had the sunrise just pop right above the horizon, right? Tonight and last night we had a be oh. We had a beautiful, I'm going to show you a picture here in a second, a beautiful sunset last night. We could see some broken clouds moving in at around 730 in some parts of the tri-state. Other parts, it could be completely overcast, especially to the west. But at the same time, it could be a really nice sunset tonight with some broken clouds. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully, you'll get that. And then overnight, basically some clouds move through, maybe a stray shower. Most of us don't see a drop, but it would be while we sleep anyway. And then we've got plenty of sunshine for our Saturday. A little bit more wind in play, though. High today, low to mid-70s. It's going to be a pleasant day. About as good as they get. Northwest wind shifting to the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then temperatures are going to be warming to 80 degrees tomorrow. A little bit of breeze, staying dry. Here's that rain on Sunday. Showers, a few thunderstorms do not look severe right now. We could have a few strong ones, though. And as we head into Monday and Tuesday, it's still a little bit more rain, a little cooler on Wednesday and Thursday. This is what I was awing about earlier. This is from Holly Johnson, Angie. Oh, my. Last night in Livermore, just down the road from Rumsey. Just down the road. Holly got this wonderful shot of the setting sun and just the clouds broke up. It was absolutely stunning. I love it. it nice is. and orange. And kind of a reddish orange. Red sky at night. Sailor's delight. Sky's always Good pretty weather. over McLean County. You know that. Right, Holly. We'll be back <laughs> with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.